So for the brisket, very simple. You pick up from your butcher two briskets, four pounds, well trimmed. Super lean, beautiful. Then you're going to make a rub, very simple. Pimenton smoked sweet paprika, such big flavor, great crowd pleaser. And that smoky flavor is great because it makes it taste like you smoked this brisket outside, but you're really just gonna throw it in the oven for three hours. Uh, I also like its best buddy, cumin, also a nice smoky earthy flavor, and a little Mexican oregano. So oregano, smoked paprika, cumin, salt, pepper, gets rubbed all over the meat. Meat should be room temperature when you brown it. Get your biggest Dutch oven screaming hot. Add a little bit of uh, high temperature oil, vegetable oil or canola oil or peanut oil. Add a little bit of oil and brown the meat patiently. Don't crowd the pan. You're gonna put one in at a time, obviously. And you're going to get this nice and crusty. Color equals flavor in food. So you want to make sure that the meat is room temperature, that the pan is hot and that it's well seasoned so that you're making a nice crust on the, on the meat itself. That crust is the sugars in the protein of choice developing their flavor. Brown the meat, take it out, then throw in your usual suspects. Carrot, celery, onion, and in my family, garlic. Goes in everything. Then, the fun part. Oh, you needed two beers, so you bought the whole six pack. <laughs> two beers! <laughs> yeah. And two cups of stock. and two bay leaf, throw the brisket in here, throw the lid on the pot, throw the pot in the oven, and cook it for three to three and a half hours until it's fork tender. Um, this is our um, vat of two beer brisket. If you're cooking for your family, you could break this into three separate meals. Um, basically, we took two lean four pound briskets, rubbed them down with tons of flavor, browned them up, slow cooked them until they're literally falling apart. You take them out of the oven, shred them up with two big forks, and now we're going to make the, um, the filling for harder soft shell tacos or sliders. So if you're doing them with, as sliders, you can serve it with a nice crispy oil and vinegar slaw salad on the side. If you're serving them as tacos, we have all sorts of fun fixings there. We're gonna make barbecued brisket um, for our tacos and our sliders. So you start with a couple tablespoons of butter you add one small onion, finely chopped, a couple of fat cloves of garlic, grated or chopped or crushed. Throw that in there until they're nice and tender. I'm cooking it kind of low and slow over medium heat, uh, seasoned with a little S&P, of course. And now we're going to add our tomato product, four tablespoons of tomato paste, nice fat squirt. Always pick up your tomato paste um, for my money in a tube, because you don't have to transfer containers. Those little cans, you can't keep it in the can, of course. So this just makes it convenient to throw it back in. But just like your toothpaste, squeeze from the bottom up, people. Okay? Roll and squeeze from the bottom up. <laughs> so stir your tomato paste till you can smell it. You have to kind of wake it up. It's been stuffed in a tube for a while. Um, we're gonna add a smoky heat to this uh, barbecue sauce by taking some puree of chipotle and adobo. When I bring home chipotle and adobo, which is smoked chilies in vinegar and spice sauce, I throw the whole can into the food processor, turn it into paste, use what I need, put the rest in the freezer, label it, next time you need it, just break a piece off. Because a can of chipotle and adobo is usually way more than you need for one recipe. So, uh, we're going to add in a good quarter cup of chipotle and adobo as well. And the other two cups of beef stock that we didn't use in the brisket, that's gonna be the base for our sauce. As the sauce reduces, that beefy flavor will also reduce and become really, really succulent. Then we're gonna add choosies of pretty much everything. Choosies of our vinegar. We're gonna do cider vinegar for this. Two fat tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of tamari. Here today, gone tamari. <laughs> And two fat tablespoons of honey or light brown sugar, your choice. Today I went with the honey. You gotta sweeten it up. And that's your base. You just let that cook a few minutes and thicken up and it looks like this back here. Doesn't take long at all. You see, you want that nice, silky, chunky, <clears throat> saucy goodness. And then we're going to 
Take half of our shredded brisket. Calm it down, girls. Jeez. <laughs> brisket does have that effect on people, though. All right, I'd say that's about half. Okay, now we're gonna stir this all together. And as I said, we're making soft and hard shell taco bar, or you could just serve this straight up with bread and butter pickles and onions on soft sandwich rolls. I love a soft burger bun for, uh, for my pulled brisket sandwiches. So if you're doing soft shell tacos and you happen to have a gas top stove, you can just turn your burner on and throw them right on the burner and just char them on each side, about 30 seconds on each side. If you uh, don't have a gas top burner, you can take a, a non nonstick pan, so just a regular stainless skillet, not a nonstick pan because you're going to leave it empty. Leave it on high heat, same effect. You're going to blister the tortillas on each side and then wrap them in a little blankie to keep them nice and warm. So soft shell tacos, great. For the taco bar, we have shredded white or red cabbage, green onions, uh, scallions, the whites and the greens. Of course, you must have the pickled jalapeno slices and thinly sliced radishes. Radishes, especially with pulled beef, just delicious. I'm gonna bring this huge bubbling pan right down here and put it right in the middle because we can serve this two ways then. I'm gonna grab my hard shell tacos from the oven. You put your hard shell tacos in the oven just to develop their flavor and give them a light toast. Makes them really fragrant. And to serve that, uh, the same meat, the same barbecued brisket as a soft sandwich, you have your soft rolls, of course. I like potato rolls, but buy whatever rolls you prefer. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna serve those up with just some sweet bread and butter pickles and chopped white onion. We've got brisket as tacos. We've got brisket as pulled brisket sandwiches with pickles and onions. Now we're gonna finish up with giant stuffed potatoes. So, let me break it down for you. You take giant size, and I mean big, like three quarters to one pound giant size russet potatoes. So go to the bulk bin so you can pick and choose. Roast them for one hour. I spray the outside with olive oil, season them with salt and pepper because I eat the skins, they're delicious. Roast them in the oven. One hour, don't forget to prick the top of the uh, potato with your fork, uh, tines of a fork. Roast them one hour, take them out. Then I cut them, make them into potato skins, scoop out the filling that's resting in this bowl. Then I spray them again, season them with salt and pepper, put them back in the oven to crisp them up. So our potato boats are what we're going to fill right now. We're taking the hot centers of our potato. I added garlic, salt, pepper, sour cream, and chives. I know, right? <laughs> and then we just mix this all together and make a chunky mash to fill our potatoes. Now our two beer brisket is sitting in its own juices with all those veg all mixed in, right? So what we're gonna do is take our sour cream and chive potato filling. I'll just do a couple here because we're running out of time and I'll show you. Then you top it with the hot brisket. <laughs> right, and you top it with the hot brisket. Then you top that with some broccoli. This is blanched broccolini. You put it in salted boiling water for three minutes. You don't want to kill it. Take it out, cold shock it, chop it up. Top that with your broccoli, right, or broccolini. Broccolini is easier, you know. It's skinny and pretty. And then you top that with a ton of cheese. Let's get our super stuffed brisket, broccoli, and cheddar cheese potato skins out of the oven. Oh my god. I know. So two beer brisket, the sour cream chive and garlic mashed potatoes, the broccolini, I know, and then the cheddar cheese all over the top. Boom. So, you got two beer brisket, not one, not two, 
but three ways. Boom! <laughs>